Johnny and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business? We can help. Okay, all of our guests today, including Elliot Friedman, standing by. Is he standing by, right? Okay. From Del Boca Vista. This is going to be one of the more interesting zooms we've ever done, by the way. But anyway, just visually, go on. we're yes, talking. Yes. Why? You'll see. Good tease. Our all of our guests today are brought to you by the Waddling Dog Pub, one of Victoria's favorite local pubs. In fact, the favorite. Located 10 minutes from the ferry, the two-time number one pub in Victoria invites you to see why they are a go-to watering hole. hole, hole. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting excited about <laughs> seeing Elliot here. I always am, but especially oh. so today. The Waddling Dog Pub is the best place for all of your Canucks and NHL action with extended hours so you don't have to miss any of the action. I'm going to have to change that copy. Uh, come sit and stay at the Waddling Dog as we go down to Florida, Del Boca Vista. And... Elliot Friedman. What do we have here? Let's take a look. There you go. What's, oh. what's, what's the, he's in his car. No, he's being driven around. He's not oh, in his car. Oh, you're being driven around. Oh, yeah. You're driving? No, oh, no, okay. no. Someone's driving you. Yeah. Oh, look there, at you that. Are, there you go. Driving Miss Daisy. <laughs> and what's the name of the gentleman there, uh, 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 Elliot? Kyle Bukowskis. Right? Driving. Is it that's Kyle? Kyle? Oh, hi, Kyle. Kyle. Oh, oh that's Kyle. Uh, oh. He's on national television every Saturday night. Great guy. Campbell River native. Don said, uh, by the way, Don, Kyle says he's a big he's a big fan of yours, Don. Oh, just, oh. He grew up watching you, and you just crushed him. Like, just crushed him. No, no, I know, I know. That episode of The Simpsons where Lisa rejects the Valentine. <laughs> wow. That. Deep reference. Uh, a big fan of Kyle. I have uh, a strong Campbell River c uh, connection. So yeah. uh, all the best to, to Kyle. And he looks like he's doing a great job driving you around, Elliot. That's that's pretty good. You got somebody driving you around. <laughs> big shot there. Yep. Okay. Board of Governors, Elliot, of interest to Canucks well, fans. Well, you know, I can't, oh, sorry, I can't drive and do a Zoom. Yes. I, I, I can't drive and do a Zoom at the same time. So Kyle's driving. There, there is that. Safety first. Okay. Board of Governors. Cap reportedly not going up as much as Canuck fans would like to see, given mm -hmm. the Horvat situation. Kuzmenko and, and Shan were hearing $1 million uh, next year. Elliot, what are you hearing? I think that's, while it's likely, I wouldn't say that's cast in stone. It's not 100% a guarantee, Don. Um, you know, it was the commissioner himself who kind of lit the fire that this may go up more than. Uh, four million, more than four million dollars this summer, and today he walked it back a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. Like honestly, I've had a couple of owners and uh, and uh, executives tell me, uh, Don, it might it come, it's going to come down to who goes to the playoffs and who makes a deep run. Like if if you get, you know, I, I had one say to me, if you want the cap to go up, root for Vegas Edmonton somewhere because those are two really high revenue teams. Root for. And then you can pick the other ones. There's, you know, Toronto, Boston, mm. uh, Rangers, whoever. Like, you want the is Seattle making the playoffs is probably very good too because they've become one of the league's highest revenue teams. But there's no question; it's a little less certain. I, I wouldn't say it's a, an absolute slam dunk, but it's going to take high revenue teams making the playoffs. Elliot, I want to ask you, uh, Gary Bettman, yesterday was his 30th year anniversary as commish uh, of the NHL going. I mean, the biggest thing is revenues. When he started $600 million, now you're at $6 billion. Uh, your thoughts on the job he has done, and how much longer do you think he's going to keep going? Am I talking to the arsonist, Rick Dollawal, the man who was <laughs> on fire yesterday? Uh, Bettman, your thoughts? <laughs> Well, I, I would just say that, um, you know, he's taken the NHL to new levels. There, there's no question about that. I, I think that the, the one thing that I think most people kind of look at now is um, just can we see more growth? Yeah. Can, can we see more growth? Like one of the things that I, I disagree with him on, and he talked about it again today, is he's against expanded playoffs. Yeah. And one of the things that fits his argument is last year in the East, Columbus and, and Vancouver, or Columbus and the Islanders, and those were the first two teams out, mm -hmm. they were 20 points out. And that is his position that the regular season matters. I, I would like to see us go to a new stratosphere here. And I think things like, um, 
you know, I, I think things like expanded playoffs would help. Um, look, look, he he took the NHL to from like a very small uh, mom and pop kind of operation to a very big one. There's there's no question about that. I, I think there's another level to go to here. And, you know, I don't think the million dollar thing is entirely on him. He did propose a situation where the players could have seen the cap go higher when we had the negotiation during COVID and the players disagreed with it. So it's not all on him. But I, I think that it, it just, I, I think we all want to see the league jump a bit. We want to see the cap go up a bit more. Uh, I think, you know, I, I think we just want to see a big jump in revenues here. And that's what I would like to see more of right now. Okay. Elliot, well, I just want to get your thoughts on Bo Horvat. What are you hearing? Uh, the Canucks offer the whole nine yards. So where are you at with Bo? Well, Rick, I should be asking you that. You shouldn't be asking me that. Um, you know, like, like, like the, thing, the thing is, is that I do think the Canucks are out there checking what the market is. And I'm not talking about the market in terms of re-signing them. I think they're talking about the market in terms of trading them. Yeah, and yeah. I, I think they're talking to teams, and I think they're trying to figure out you know who's serious and and who isn't, and you know, look, like I th like you like I think the couple things were telling me this morning. You take a look at what rentals have gone for the last few years, and that's what the Canucks are looking at. But they're trying to get to the high end of that. You know, the the really tough thing though is, um, you know, number one, um, you know, I, I I would never say never. I would say though it's unlikely that Horvat would be willing to sign now. Um, you know, maybe like like Hampus Lindholm last year signed in Boston sight unseen. And yeah. maybe there would be a, a team that would be willing to consider doing that. Yeah. But the question is, would Horvat be willing to do that? So I think the Canucks are looking to see what the market is, who's serious, who isn't. I don't necessarily think that, that means a trade is imminent, but I do think they're doing their due diligence. You know, Rick, I, I, I do think that there were some people yesterday that – they were disappointed to hear this come out on the day of a big special Olympics gala yeah. in, uh, in with the Canucks. I think that was tough mm. for some people. Um, but you know, that's not on you. You're just, you're reporting what you report. Um, you know, I, I it, it's kind of unfortunate. It's all gotten to this again, though. I don't like dealing in absolutes. And I all, always wonder if we're going to ta be talking in February, like they try one more time and yeah. until he's dealt, I'm curious to see, like, like Jim Rutherford's been around a long time. Mm -hmm. That guy has seen everything. And I just wonder if there's any chance before this is over, the Canucks come out and say, all right, we're going to take one. They know that whatever they did here, which, which you said was eight years, and I think was started with a seven, and I'm guessing it was mid to low sevens. They know that's not going to work. Now, is there anywhere else they're willing, really willing to go? Okay. In terms of keeping Bo, yeah, yeah. I, I just, I you know, like I said, I don't. Th I think they're doing their due diligence. Look, like I've said this to you guys many times. We all thought JT Miller was gone, and he signed. So yeah. until it's over, I refuse to say it's over. Hey, um, uh, Ellie, getting back to a, a previous answer of yours, you listed off all the highest revenue. Uh, generating teams, franchises in the National Hockey League. Where, where does Vancouver sit? They're high. Uh, yeah. they're, they're really high. They're, uh, they're, they're, they definitely do very well. The Canadian mm -hmm. teams generally do very well. Uh, the reason I just mentioned uh, Seattle and Vegas is that uh, when I was going over the cap with one of the uh, governors this week, uh, or last week, he said to me that Seattle's been a real success in a real short time, so... If you want the cap to go up, it's it's probably not a bad thing. The Kraken might are trending towards being a playoff team this year, and we know that they're going to win the Stanley Cup before the Canucks ever do. So there's there's that as well. Hey, a Elliot, uh, Penguins defeat the Stars two one. That's yep. six straight yep. wins uh, for the Penguins. Eleven one and three in their last thirteenth, uh, thirteen games. Mm -hmm. They're they're fifth overall. I guess we just expect success from that team given who's on their roster. But they are older. Mm -hmm. Are we talking enough about the Pittsburgh Penguins? Well, I think the reason that the Penguins get kind of like, first of all, nobody disses Sidney Crosby, right? Nope. And like nobody's ever going to doubt him. I think the thing is, it's just been a while since they've won a playoff round. 
So mm. I think there's a little bit of, I think people like to see Crosby do well. I, I think they really do. And I, yeah. I, I, you know, the fact that he's a, a five on five monster this year, I think people really like that, but there is a certain segment of fan and group out there that says, okay, like we know that they can get into the playoffs. Can they win around? And I, and I like Toronto obviously gets that and for good reason. So I think there's, there's, there's people out there kind of look at it and say, we expect them to be good in the regular season. Now can we see them win around? Uh, 22 game point streak for Mitch Marner. Qu- quickly, if you don't mind, Elliot, how do you defend that guy? Don't let him get to the arena. Like kidnap him before he gets there. <laughs> Maybe get Kyle He's... to drive him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, that's a great line. First of all, you know, I, I just the thing is like. I think that sometimes with Marner, Don, the problem is he's worried too much or people around him have worried too much what's said about him. If they finally reach the point where they stop caring, he's going to go into another stratosphere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's okay. simple. Agreed. Okay, uh, tell Kyle, uh, maybe he can hear, but it, the, the Henshaws and the Lawrences in Campbell River, they're all uh, related to the to the Taylors. So look look out for them. The hey. Three, hey. Yeah. Charles and Campbell River are all related to the to the Taylors. Really? Yeah. All right. Yeah. He's excited yeah. about. Yeah. This. <laughs> he's more excited about this than the fact that he had no idea who he was before. Well, he's got the glasses on. I I, I, I thought he was your Uber driver. I'm sorry, Kyle. I feel bad now. Yeah. I feel yeah. Elliot, bad. next time you're in town. Don says he feels bad. He yeah. thought you were my Uber driver. No, stop it. I mean, I also have He is that right now. Yeah. Okay, he there you go. Right now, yeah. There you go. Elliot, we'll talk to you in a couple of weeks. Great work as always. Thanks so much. All right. You bet. Great to <laughs> chat with you guys, okay? All right. You bet.